Hey, today we're gonna do a little bit of kayak bass fishing. We're here out here in Glory Lakes in Fremont, California. <laughs> Current time right now is 2.30 p.m. Uh, temperature uh, right now is around in the 80s. Pretty much we just brought one rod just to test out the cameras today. Today what I have rigged up is a drop shot using a six and a half inch robo worm but I cut it down to about four and a half five inches they were pretty much just trying to work with the new cameras um, trying to film a few fishing videos and just practicing editing along the way and using the equipment I just got here. Oh. Yeah. Did you catch anything? Uh, a bunch of large mouth on the back side. Oh, on the back side? Okay. Oh. Alright, here's the first spot. Pretty much this is the first cast. Um, over here in this area, there's a submerged tree um, underneath um, where I'm fishing. Uh, I've caught fish here in the past, but fortunately I'm not in the area. So, spot number two uh, went around the island. Just started uh, hammering the bank, just fishing visible structure. Uh, right now my audio is out with my GoPro. I was having audio issues all day and that's why I'm doing some audio dubbing with the computer mic. Here at spot number two, this is going to be the first fish caught. Uh, I'm still using the drop shot rod with the robo worm. Passed it to the bank and pretty much worked it forward towards uh, the kayak. Um, below it uh, is pretty much uh, submerged weeds where uh, the bass can hide. Took the hog trough off uh, just to see and practice measuring fish as well. Um, the fish came in at around 11 inches, um, just short um, of hitting 12. Basically just going around the bank, trying to cover as much water as possible just to see where all the fish are concentrated. Uh, starting at one corner of the bank and going all the way down to the other uh, corner.
think. Part of the video, I wanted to try a different uh, angle. Wanted to try a more third-person view. Uh, I've seen people like most fishing channels have just like the GoPro, or it's really close to the person. But with this uh, new camera, I can pretty much capture uh, the whole kayak. So it has like one of those uh, third-dimensional. I mean, third-person views. So with the camera, I just pretty much wanted to test different heights just to see um, which one had the best angles. Um, I do like the third person view uh, fishing. Uh, it looks nice. Uh, probably a good transition from like going around, like spot to spot. Um, it captures like most of the environment, but it doesn't capture like the details of like a first person view. All right, here we are pedaling towards the next spot. Um, this spot's a little bit more unique at quarries. Um, there's no pretty much visible structure. This is pretty much a submerged island. Um, I grafted um, with my new canoe uh, and it's pretty much a 10 foot island that drops off to about 20 feet um, around it. Caught the third fish, uh, pretty much on the same setup. Um, pretty much on top of the island. I just threw it to the island and just worked it way back to my kayak and hooked on a small fish again. I'm trapping for most of the day. Uh, I continued to fish the island. Uh, as I caught one fish on the drop shot, I decided to tie on a scrounger head jig. I uh, wanted to try a moving bait. Um, didn't bring all my tackle today. I wanted to try a spinner bait, but didn't have anything. So this is the best uh, next option that I had.
running the scrounger uh, jig for about 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, I decided to give up on it. Um, it wasn't getting bit. Um, the wind was just a little bit too much, and the ounce of the scrounger head was, I believe, a quarter ounce, and just wasn't casting well um, within the area. So I decided to just retie on the drop shot rig. Um, just wanted to catch more uh, fish on film and just practice the editing, um, fishing, and catching fish. Here I hooked on to the fourth fish of the day. Um, right now I'm at the island still, I'm working the other side. Uh, same rig, uh, same setup, uh, drop shot with a second and a half inch rope worm cut down to about four and a half, five inches. So all in all today, I caught about four fish. The uh, biggest one was 11 inches, uh, the first one, and the smallest one was around 8 inches. So pretty much uh, four dinks for the day. Uh... Hey, thank you for watching the video. I know it was a long one and I had like so many like audio problems. Uh, hopefully I'll have better uh, footage uh, for next time and hopefully our next trip's going to be the California Delta.